former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, who turned 99 today. Well, wishers were able to celebrate at the Carter Library in Georgia yesterday. The celebration had cake, games, and even trivia. People there saying happy birthday to the former president and made cards to send to him. Carter has faced some health struggles and entered hospice care eight months ago. And here's something y'all might not know about Robert. He's a bit of a presidential nerd, I would say. And I'm a, kind of a trivia nerd, too. So yep. presidential trivia, right up my alley. I mean, you're probably aware that Jimmy Carter's the longest living president ever, 99 years old, also had the longest retirement of any president. You know, Adams lived to be pretty pretty old, as well as George H.W. Bush, but nobody has beat the peanut farmer yet. Wow. And uh, overall, our weather, I don't know how to segue into that. I, anyway, <laughs> is it peanut, peanut weather? Well, I don't know. Do peanuts grow in the summer? I actually don't know. Anyway, I can tell you about September, though. September was very, very dry. We've been talking about that, and now that we are officially in October. Circus peanuts, Halloween candy. There you go. There's a kind of segue. Anyway, typically by the end of September, the whole month of September, we observe just under three and a third inches of rain. What did we observe this year in 2023? Well, just over half an inch, about 0.54 inches throughout the whole month, which is a pretty decent sized difference, just over two and two thirds inches. Now, this time of year is generally dry anyway, but this is drier than average, certainly, for September. So where does this rank? Well, if we didn't see any rain this past week, it would have been the driest on record. But even the little bit of rain we saw now brought us to fifth place. So this was the fifth driest September on record, going back to 1935 at the Dayton International Airport. We use that 1935 data set because it's a lot more accurate, a lot more regimented and uh, gives you a much better picture of trends as far as climate is concerned. Now, speaking of climate, as we move into next week, not this coming week, but the week after, we can give you a sneak peek of what the temperature is going to be. Now, it's hard to give you actual temperature numbers because that far in advance is, is pretty difficult to be that precise. However, what you can see here is a lot of blue on the map indicating that temperatures will likely be cooler than average. In fact, it's several shades of blue. It's at least one, two, three, four shades of blue going up to the legend here, kind of middle of the pack. So, yeah, we are looking at some cool weather, cooler than average for early to mid-October moving into the next week. Now, as far as temperatures this coming week, you can see we're going to be above average. We're typically about 73 degrees, and so we have many days in the 80s like we saw today. But then you start to notice a little bit of a cool down by Thursday. A cold front comes through, brings the chance for a few showers, and then look at this. Highs in the low 60s, meaning most of your afternoon will likely be in the 50s. And we're talking lows potentially in the 30s. Right now, not the case. Pretty warm, 67 degrees, clear skies, winds out of the east-southeast, about 6 miles per hour. Still a relatively dry, comfy feel. So you see a lot of green on the map here indicating, now yeah, there's a little humidity, but... Not much. It feels pretty nice outside. Clear skies all across the eastern United States. No rain really across the eastern United States. And that's because of this strong area of high pressure. What do high pressures do? Well, they keep skies clear and pleasant weather and, you know, sometimes bring cool or hot weather. But generally what this is doing for us is because it's basically right over Ohio, it's bringing some clear skies. And you can see in the future cast here moving from Sunday into Monday into Tuesday even into Wednesday, not much going on aside maybe a few clouds like this, but that's about it. So pretty quiet for the week. 58 for the low tonight, clear, pleasant, and fairly cool. But overall, I mean, not a bad week ahead, just a bit on the warm side. Of course, we're not going to see any rain, unfortunately, until we move to a little bit later in the week, Thursday and Friday. Again, that's that cold front as it brings the chance for some rain. That's when you see those high temperatures in the 60s and a low of 39 on Sunday. So as we say down in the bayou, it's that gumbo weather time, so get your big pot ready. Thank you, Robert. Week 8 of the Goodwill Drive to Victory, it's already here. New Center 7's Mike Hart Talk shows us the two teams competing to bring home the money. 